Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. So what we have here, we take 5 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. This is your x raised to the power 6 minus 5 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 here. Then here we can write this as x raised to the power 3, 4 raised to the power 2 minus also 5 raised to the power 3. 4 raised to the power 2 equals to 0 here. Then, yeah, this follows when we have a square minus b square. It's the same thing as a plus b into bracket, open bracket, a minus b. This here is standing as x raised to the power 3, and b standing as 5 raised to the power 3. But this here, this equation becomes x raised to the power 3 plus 5 raised to the power 3 into brackets, then open bracket x raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 3 plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases. The first term x raised to the power 3 plus 5 raised to the power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, this follows what we have a raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square. But this here, all we have becomes x plus 5 into brackets then open brackets x square minus 5x plus 5 square close bracket equals to 0 here then this becomes x plus 5 into brackets then open brackets x square minus 5x plus 5 square that's 25 close brackets equals to 0 here also here we have two possible cases. First time we have x plus 5 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 5x plus 25 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 5, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where he equals to 1 b equals to minus 5, c equals to 25. That is, we apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. That is, here, yeah, what we have becomes x equals to minus, minus 5 plus or minus square root of Minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 over 2 times 1. Now this here we have x equals to minus times minus is plus. Now we have 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared. That's 25 minus 4 times 25 here. Then over 2. That this here we have x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 is common here. We have 25 into brackets 1 minus 4 left here over 2, which implies this becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 times. 1 minus 4, that's minus 3 over 2. And when we separate this through 25, it's 5. We take it out and we have x equals to 5 plus or minus 5. Then root minus 3, we have root 3 high over 2. And this here we have two complex solutions here. Then, 
Summing from the second case here, yeah, this follows what we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 with the same thing as a minus b into bracket, open bracket a square plus a b plus b square. But this what we have here becomes x minus 5 into bracket, open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square close bracket equals to zero here that is this same thing as x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square that's 25 close bracket equals to zero here then also here we have two possible cases the first one x minus 5 equals to zero or we have x square plus 5x plus 25 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, we have x equals to 5, which is also a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 5, and c equals to 25. Then applying the quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 times 1 times 25 over 2 times 1 then here we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square that's 25 then minus we can still leave this as 4 times 25 then over 2 that is, here yeah, we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 is common here. We have 25 into bracket 1 minus 4, then over 2 here. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 times 1 minus 4, that's minus 3 over 2. Then here, this becomes x equals to minus 5 plus or minus root 25, that's 5. Then root minus 3, we have root 3 high over 2. Also here, we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, altogether in this problem, we have six solutions here, two new solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions there and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now